Hey, what's happening YouTube? Thanks again for joining me in the card corner. What a crazy last 24 hours that we have experienced in the NFL realm as my Denver Broncos lit up the news line by acquiring Russell Wilson. All I can say is wow and yay at the same time. I am actually pretty excited to get Russ um, into a Broncos uniform. I was really, really, really hoping that we were, gonna, were not going to pick up Aaron Rodgers, primarily for the fact that Rodgers was probably going to be a one or two year guy and then out, in my opinion. And um, I just honestly, I like Russ a lot more as a guy and as a uh, team player. So, um, which <laughs> kind of showed itself seeing what Rodgers did with his like insane package deal. Um, you know, someone I had talked to said, you can see that's the big difference between Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers is Brady will uh, take one for the team to keep the other guys around financially. But Rodgers, man, he went straight for the pocket. So, uh, But anyways, all that aside, I, so I am super stoked to get Russell. You may wonder why in the world do I have a Russell Wilson uh, Lego figure? Well, this is actually my son's. Um, he is a huge Russell Wilson Seahawks fan. So while I was celebrating, he's struggling a little bit with it right now and trying to figure out what he's going to do because he collects Russell Wilson. He said, Dad, I really like Russell. I'm going to probably just keep collecting him because I like him as a person and a player. So, um, But yeah, man, I'm so stoked. Now on that, the only sad note in that is we got rid of Noah Fant, which honestly, I'm struggling with a little bit. I love Noah Fant, and man, he has such a strong future for the Broncos uh, going for him. Uh, just showed a lot of great signs. And uh, so to lose Noah was probably the sour part of that deal. Um, the upside is, is we've got um, Albert. So we do still have a solid tight end, but uh, uh, but it's really sad to see Noah Fant go. So I'd be curious. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments about about this transaction. But wow, what a crazy, crazy last 24 hours. Um, between that and Rodgers declaring he's going to stay, man, it's been an interesting time in the NFL. And there's a lot still going on with free agency ahead too. So, hey, I uh, want to, speaking of Albert, I wanted to take this uh, episode an opportunity. What I'd like to do is from time to time, I'd like to just highlight my PC, give you a little taste of what's going on within my different players. And um, so I figured I'd start off today kind of to honor our one true tight end now that we have left for the Broncos by uh, starting off with letting you take a peek at uh, my Albert O um, collection. And uh Albert is a, uh, he's a really solid up and coming tight end. And um, he was actually uh, Drew Locke's teammate at Missouri. Um, he has shown some really good signs of uh, a solid future. And I'll be interested now, especially with uh, Noah Fant gone, man, he might really shine in. Uh, maybe he'll be one of uh, Russ's primary, especially end zone targets. I'm excited to see what will happen with him. So I'm just going to show you some highlights of my Alberto PC today. And I'm going to do this a little bit more throughout. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm waiting. I was hoping to maybe do a blaster, um, blaster busting video for you, another episode of that, but it was actually delayed in getting here. So we're going to have to wait a little bit on that, but I do have one coming in. And I also have a, uh, I have a, I have an insane uh, eBay purchase that I made that um, I'm excited to share with you guys as well. Uh, something unlike anything I've ever purchased before. And uh, I'll just leave it at that. So be keeping an eye out for that. But so my Alberto collection is probably one of the smaller ones that I have right now. And um, I just wanted to show you just a few highlights um, of what I picked up of Albert. So first I wanted to show you my rainbow. So I've told you that I'm collecting rainbows of each of my PC guys. And so for Albert, I am shooting for the uh, Donruss Optic um, rookie card rainbow of his. And I have a few of his going and uh, obviously got some left to pick up, but I have the base. I have the blue hyper. I have the blue scope. None of those are numbered. I got the um, bronze.
Got the green velocity. It's got some nice shine to them. Got the hollow. I love optic. I just, their colors are solid. Their, their uh, parallels and their rainbow are fun to collect. And I got the pink. And I've got the purple shock. So off the top of my head, I can't remember how many total there are. I want to say there's 25 to somewhere in that range. And I'll put down below here um, how many there are and how many I have currently in this rainbow collection. So um, that's what I'm shooting for there. Feel free to hit me up if you have any of his uh, um, optic Ricky cards, part of that rainbow that you don't see here. Um, I'm excited to keep picking those up and he's going pretty cheap right now. I'm curious what's going to happen, especially now that Noah's gone. Um, his value might start shooting up and then, um, just a few more of the cards I have for Albert. So just so you get an idea, my collection is, it's in parts. Um, I am an organized freak. So I have different categories to my collection. So I have my rainbow and then I kind of have my, uh, my better value cards, and then I have my autos, and then I actually just have some binder, uh, a binder card uh, set of my players as well. The binder cards are a little bit more the base, um, some of the you know different rookies and whatnot like that. But um, so I'm just going to show you my rainbow, my uh, a little bit better value cards, and then my autos for Albert. And then like I said, I have a binder with him. I think I have about thirty. Let me check here. I have thirty nine total cards for Albert, which is actually one of my lower end collections of my PC guys. So, uh, but I got this green etch obsidian, which I think is beautiful. Got that through, uh, um, eBay purchase. And then I got a prism draft picks green. And then I got a Prism Draft Picks Pink Pulsar. So like I said, Albert is one I'm still kind of working on and building up. And uh, he is fairly cheap to get a hold of right now. Well, <laughs> he's somewhat cheap. I think some guys are overpricing it. I've been overpricing him. But uh, I, again, it may be justified here before too long. Um and I actually, so having said that, his autos are actually a little easier to get a hold of because his value is still trying to kind of be determined. So I've got a, I've got a few autographs here as well. Um, so I got the absolute auto for Albert. I got the uh, Donruss uh, rated rookies optic draft pick. I love that card. I have, uh, I think I've said this before. Uh, so. Missouri, I, I am a Kansas Jayhawk fan. Missouri was always our rival. Um, obviously, they're in the SEC now, not the Big 12, but I have always loved their colors and their design. And uh, this is just a pretty card. And uh, I got a Rising Stock Pink from Leaf Valiant. And this is purchase, I can remember actually, this purchase was made through a... Uh, um, it's called Infinity Sports Cards. And I'll put a link down below for Infinity Sports Cards if you're interested. He does breaks. And then he's got like this whole kind of card store from the cards that um, guys have won and would like to trade or sell. sell. Um, I actually picked this up pretty cheap through that process. I'll put a link to Infinity down below in case you're interested and want to check it out. It's a lot of fun. He, Like I said, he does a lot of uh, breaks and whatnot. And you can build up... Uh, break points to purchase stuff and that's how i actually got a hold of this so it was pretty cool and i got a contenders playoff ticket i don't think oh yeah i'm sorry i forgot so this uh rising stock is actually numbered eight out of 15 so i seriously think i got this for less than 10 bucks so i was pretty excited about that and in case you're wondering so you see this i actually have my autograph cards on display um, up on a metal uh, air duct board. Um, so basically the same sheet metal they use for air ducts. I just display my autographs and I'll, I'll, I'll shoot a, uh, I'll, I'll, sh I'll share a, a shot or a video sometime of what that looks like. But I hang them up there using this magnetic tape, sh strip of tape, and it actually peels off real easily. Um, but it's a really cool and inexpensive way to do display cards. So that's why that's back there. Sorry, a little randomness there. And I uh, got this uh, playoff ticket from Contenders. 
Nice auto there, 58 out of 99. Picked that up through eBay not too long ago. And a Legacy Premium Penmanship of Albert. Again, in his Mizzou Uni. I like these Legacy with the premium design. They got that nice shimmer to them, the nice hollow foil. And then to close off the Albert Primary Collection, I got the Phoenix, Phoenix autograph. So just a little snapshot of my uh, Albert collection. Like I said, I'm excited to see what he does in, in place of Noah being gone. Um, and I'm looking forward to sharing some more of my PC from time to time. I'm going to just continue to shoot some episodes of of what I got going on in my collection. It's it's fun to share this hobby with you guys, let you kind of have a little sneak peek into what I do and what I collect. And uh, I appreciate you guys joining me. Let me know again. Let me know your thoughts on the Russell Wilson transaction. And uh, maybe let me know what was your favorite Albert um, Okwuegbunam card. Maybe that's what you can do is just practice saying Okwuegbunam. Uh, very unique. I call him A-OK -okay or Alberto, but let me know what your favorite card is. Let me know your thoughts. Guys, thanks again so much for joining me. This is Bronkman, and I will see you in the corner.